All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Tuesday, May 23rd, 2 p.m. with Timmy. Good to see everybody. Hope you are having a phenomenal June, which um, I imagine so. Regardless, if you just opened up, you know, sometime this month, it's good to be back. If you've been open for a while, it's, um, you know, things are going well in the auto industry. Um, both from a uh, consumer perspective, right? I think there's tons of uh, demand for a lot of different reasons. I think some we expected, some we didn't expect. And, um, you know, on the, uh, on, the, on the wholesale and retail side, things are very healthy. It's a little tough to get inventory, but okay. You know, um, still setting records. What I'd like to share with you all today is um, what I'm calling um, a recap of the first look market alert from uh, June 20. Let's see. Uh, um, share my screen. I'm going to share my screen. There you go. The um, first look market alert number three. This is from uh, June 18th. So last week. Um, so you can almost call this an emergency press conference if you'd like. Uh, you know, what were the... Um, this is a follow-up on the data that we've been providing over the last 100 plus days, right? I guess since uh, the, the end of March. <clears throat> so go through these. Um, your feedback is welcome. Your, um, you know, your takes, your comments. Uh, I've had some really heated, good conversations, some heated, some passionate. You know, it's been good. But so uh, on June 18th, first look, here is the uh, market alert, you know, and, and what we are seeing. Um, from from our data, from the data ac ac around the region, NADA, Black Book, Cox Automotive, um, our dealer insights, um, we're seeing number one, we're back, right? Um, as you know, every place is pretty much open. You know, uh, May was uh, in general was was very good, and this is continuing through June. I've seen some updates throughout that. Um, the payroll protection program uh, has been uh, really uh, helpful for many. I know that there are some out there that are, that are making a ton of money in, in unemployment. Uh, you know, the, and we see in down payments of, of, of 1200 bucks. So um, people are, are wanting to get into a car for, I think, a very various reasons that, you know, that would be, could be debated. But um, at the same time, right, factories are struggling to ramp up production uh, for, for multiple reasons. You know, so new new vehicle sales, um, which further boosted used vehicle sales and um, values could be, you know, a little bit delayed. Um, auto auctions, um, they were a little slow to ramp back up. Um, but, uh, you know, as of today, you know, auctions are, are at pre-COVID. Um, I just, just got done reading the Black Book announcement. Auctions are back with um, uh, record. Um, back to previous volumes going through, sale rates are very healthy. Now, while the, the big auctions, Mannheim and Odessa may be running virtually, you know, um, we'll see as the, you know, as the, as the steroids of the stimulus wear off, you know, what effect will this have on prices? Because prices are both up um, at wholesale tremendously, making it real hard to make some money. You know, plenty of stories of cars bringing big money. So, um, you know, the bottom line here. Um, the recession looks more like to be a, a mild instead of a severe. Um, like we, uh, you know, we had kind of bucketed three, three areas. Um, make the most out of the, you know, this, this post lockdown boom and continue to retail. Turn, turn, turn. You know, uh, don't assume that the, the, the rest of the year will look like June unless, you know, massive stimulus bill, you know, comes over um, in the weeks to come. And we'll continue to, to monitor that. But, you know. Good news for, for, for end of May and most of June here. Um, point number two, though, is, you know, that the other shoe hasn't dropped. Um, auto finance companies, you know, um, have made, you know, some, some maneuvers here to extend leases, um, you know, kind of holding off from having to, to sell cars in a market where the, the prices might have been uncertain. So in a, you know, 560,000 additional lease returns you know, have kind of been kicked down the can, kicked down the road a little bit. 
into the second half of the year, along with the, the 20, 250,000 rental cars. Um, so moving, you know, price pressure from the spring into the definitely into the summer um, and fall, you know, selling seasons. You know, the bottom line here is, you know, the, the decline in pre-owned vehicle values, you know, forecasted to be about 10 to 12 percent. Um, it that was in the, the first prediction for the mild um, recession scenario um, is still a possibility ahead of us. So so stay tuned, but um, continue to, to to sell 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 retail. And then finally, the uh, the impact will vary by segment here, right? Let's face it. Um, you know, pickup trucks uh, are are bringing uh, really good money right now. They they've been strong all along for a multitude of reasons. Um, crossovers, light pickup trucks, you know, they've represented 78% of the vehicles sold um, versus the 65 two years ago. So there are plenty of trucks out there. Um, light trick up pickup prices are not going to, you know, really come back for a while. Just there's not a ton of those. So you'll, you'll see, you know, big money there. And, uh, you know, the values of sedans and other passenger cars, um, you know, electric, hybrid, things like that are, are definitely being hit a little bit harder. Um, you know, there's only a small representation of, of what the vehicles that are out there, but we're seeing, you know, excess supply there, you know. So, you know, stay, stay focused, you know, on the, on the, the latest forecast. We've got the, the first look, you know, pricing alerts, you know, but it, the, the end of the day, it, it's going to vary segment by segment, which, which where you'll see these price charts. Remember, you know, an average of whenever we come out, that means there will be some above that and there will be some below that, okay? So one, remain flexible as conditions are changing, okay? Got to be paying attention. Keep your, keep your ear to the ground, right? Got to be listening. Um, watch auction, auction uh, data, um, changing new car supply, uh, especially how it relates to the brand that you represent, um, you know, as, as this consumer, you know, demand, um, and, and stimulus, you know, wears off, you know, your market better than anybody else. Okay. So what I'm saying might not mean anything to you. you know, it could be completely different and that's good. That means that, you know, you know, where you're at, what, what your brand is, what your processes are at your dealership. Phenomenal. Okay. But you've got to be, you got to stay in tune. Um, you know, continue to use market data along with sales data and your local knowledge, right. To help your dealership perform. If you need any help, you want to talk, find out, you know, more. I'd love to see, you know, your comments uh, about this. Um, I'll put a link so you can get onto uh, this, this press release from last week uh, in the comment section below, but that's my phone number. That's my email address. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Um, as always, this is uh, 2 PM with Timmy. I am, uh, I'm online a couple of times more this week. I think uh, tomorrow I'll, I'll post it, uh, a discussion with, uh, some, some friends uh, about mobility and our consumer survey. And then um, maybe we'll do some uh, at 2 p.m. Oh, uh, we're going to do a 10 minutes with Timmy special guest on Friday. We'll see you then. Okay, guys, take care.